Hello, hello, Sharon here. Now, some of you may be aware I'm actually a virtual assistant and have been since 2010. So I've had clients located all over the world and have experienced complications of setting up meetings and calls across multiple time zones. Luckily, however, nowadays technology makes it easier for us to connect with people globally and Google Calendar is no exception. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to see time zones that are relevant to your business when you're setting up a meeting or call in Google Calendar. One thing to point out is that Google Calendar by default will automatically use the time zone that's set for your main Google account. So if you want to change this for your Google Calendar, what you need to do is log into your Google Calendar, click on the cogwheel in the top right corner, and then click settings. And if you go to the time zone section, you can see that the primary time zone is set as island time because that's where I'm based. So this is your default time zone that's set with your Google account. So if you want to change this, all you need to do is click on the drop down arrow and then choose a different time. So if I say Chicago, and you can label it as home or work or whatever is um, relevant to you. So if I just put down work, click off there and you'll see at the bottom settings are saved. This means it, it automatically saves, so you don't need to click a save button anywhere. Now when you go back into your calendar, click on the back arrow here in the top left. And you can see now that the work that I had booked in, in my normal everyday working week has now changed. The times are now relevant to Chicago. And you can see there's a label here, work, which is the label that I created in the previous step. To make more changes, go back into your settings, go to the time zone section, and I'm just gonna change this back to island time. And I'm gonna label that home. So we're back to how we were before. And if you want to have another time zone displayed, tick the box that says display secondary time zone, and then put in another time zone. So for example, if you had work colleagues based in Chicago, like this, this example here is Chicago. If you had work colleagues based in Chicago, you could set this as your secondary time zone and label it work. And then when you click out of this, you now have an extra column down here on the left hand side next to the, the home section you now have one called work and this is the same time in Chicago. So that's how to set another time zone for your main calendar. If you want to set time zone for a specific event only then what you need to do is create the event so keyboard shortcut C to create the event, put in all the relevant details and then next to the date and the time section you have a button called time zone. If you click on there then select the time zone that you want to use so again, if we use um, Chicago time, if you want to use a separate time zone specifically for the end time, then you would tick this box and put in a different time zone for the end. But I'm keeping it as just the one. And click OK. You can see the difference from your own time from the GMT in brackets and click Save. And you can see that the meeting that I had put in for 1.30 here is now down at 7.30 because that's Chicago time. So this just makes it really easy to schedule a time that suits your client or your colleague if they're, in, if they're based in a different time zone. Then to get rid of the time zones, click back into the meeting, edit events, click on the time zone button here and just put remove time zones and save. And it now goes back to your current time zone. So that's how to set up different time zones for specific events only. There's also an option to show the world clock. So what that would do is it would add a list down here on the, on the left hand side. It would add a list of any times that you want to show. So to do that, click on the cogwheel in the top right corner and go to settings. And there's a section here called world clock. Click on that and it scrolls down to that relevant section. Tick the box show world clock and then choose the time zones that you want to show. So for example, I've got here Chicago and I've got down Athens. Click back and you can see on the left hand side here, you've now got Chicago time and you have Greece time. This is a real handy feature. Again, you can just see at a glance the, different, the time that it is currently. And then to switch it off, go back into your settings again, go to your world clock and you can either remove them completely by clicking the cross next to that relevant time zone or you can just untick the show world clock button and it will remove it from the menu down the left hand side in your calendar but it will keep the settings here so the next time that you go to show world clock those settings are automatically there and click back and you can see the, the clock has now disappeared so that's just a, a few real handy tips for you if you're liaising with 
clients or colleagues in different time zones from your own. I really hope you found that helpful. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you did. And until next time, thanks for watching and bye for now.